Hi, everybody. I have been gone a long time, and I really appreciated the break. Um, people who spend time on YouTube know that uh, if you're posting blogs, it can start wearing you down psychologically, and I needed to take a break. Um, I miss everybody, almost everybody. Um, uh, and I actually, I do miss everybody. I miss the whole experience, but there are some special people, you know, friends we made um, here on YouTube. Today is the anniversary of September 11th, when uh, World Trade Center was attacked, all that. I recognize it as a somber day for us in America. And it's also important to remember that this is a day that not only did white Christian America lose a great deal, but I believe that the Muslims of the world lost more, significantly more. I have to temper that because today is about 9-11. Today is about the day. But when I look at what's happening in the world today, a lot of the repercussions from, you know, uh, Iraq or how 9-11 dovetailed into Iraq and how the poor Iraqi people, how so many of them ended up in Syria. And now from Syria, where are they today? What a mess. There's you know, so many things that happened because of 9-11. But today should be just about the purity of the remembrance of 9-11, despite the fact that I'm sure a lot of the world sees our loss of 3,000 humans as so insignificant compared to the quote-unquote Muslim loss, or the loss of brown people around the world as a response or in the wake of 9-11, <clears throat> and the freedoms and respect and dignities lost by Muslims. But, you know, our brains can be really compartmentalized. And just as an old man who fought in World War II, who was there the day the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, at the Pearl Harbor Memorial, he looks over and sees a Japanese man there standing next to him. And he's filled with anger and says, what's that Japanese guy doing here? It was the Japs, pardon my French for anybody who's Japanese, um, it was the Japs that did this to us. Why are the Japs allowed to be here? That seems crazy to me, but he was there. It was a long time ago. <clears throat> the Germans, a lot of us in America hated the Germans after World War II because of Hitler and what the Germans did. And the Italians, you know, over time... The people who directly suffered, they die. And we grow up and we, and we mature. But the Islamophobia, or more aptly stated, I guess, Islamo-hating, um, it's not just fear, it's hatred. Today, September 11th, Remembrance Day, is an opportunity for haters to project more hate. They project it on... Muslims, and they projected on Sikhs and brown people and foreigners. Of course, we're all foreigners, but kind of funny how we would be attacking Sikhs, angry at Sikhs, I guess thinking they're Muslims, and people say, how, how horrible is that that a, a Sikh could be mistaken for a Muslim and be abused? Is it any less horrible than a Muslim being mistaken for a terrorist and abused? I don't think so. So in a way, it's no less ironic, no less a tragedy to have an innocent Sikh persecuted for 9-11 than it is to have an innocent Muslim persecuted for 9-11. <clears throat> so my hope is that on this day of remembrance, to, to pay true honor to everyone who lost, and we all lost that day, that we should really honor the innocent Muslims who lost respect and dignity and freedom and safety. So if you're a non-Muslim and you see a Muslim today, or any other day, remember that 9-11 most likely is a great tragedy for their lives. Just go to the airport. Just witness a Muslim traveler. They always seem to get the red pail. Everybody else has a white pail with their shoes in it. They always get the red pail. The search me, the frisk me pail. So uh, I'm going to stay in loving remembrance of this day of 9-11.
and hope it serves to remind me and others about how we need to open up and you know, forgive all the cliches, but love our brothers and sisters in humanity, and also remind us how fortunate we are that a tragedy that seems so great to us really is minute and minuscule compared to the losses around the world. That's a reminder how privileged we are and how safe it is here. That there are places in the world where 3,000 people die a day. We have one day where 3,000 people died and we've been honoring it for years. So uh, we're a very privileged society and 9-11 was a wake-up call. I just wish that 9-11 had woken us up completely to things we needed to wake up to, not just to our anger and our rage. So, uh, um, and I'm sure a lot of you agree with me on that. So um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Take care.